Hi everyone, I'm Peggy, working at Imaging Core of National Taiwan University. This is the tutorial for the tool Salmonella Containing Vacuole Extractor, aiming to extract the bacterial DNA and NCV structures from DAP E and LAMP1 standing result. As shown here, the image will be compartmented into four parts from the dual standing image after the analysis of this tool. Now let's see what we have um, in the GitHub repository. Before the usage of SCV extractor, please read the readme file first. Here I included um, the going line for installation and the usage. Two Fiji scripts are included to be executed by Fiji or ImageJ. One pretrained elastic model is offered here to distinguish the bacterial DNA from the nucleus of the infected cell. That will be applied in the first Fiji script. After extraction, you can generate 3D modeling or uh, qualify images with any software. Here, I offered a setting for the batch process with Emirates. To make it easier, I shared two images for you um, play with this tool. Please download the demo images from the offered link. The full chart of SCV extractor is composed by three programs. With script A, you can isolate the bacterial DNA from the DAP staining with the pretrained elastic model. Then, uninfected cells will be erased from the image semi automatically by script B. At the end, the process dataset can be surface modeled by Emirates in the batch mode with the offered parameters. So now please download files from GitHub and unzip them um, in your PC. To the, the tools, please generate another folder uh, in order to collect the data set you want to um, process. So here, Play, uh, here, I just call it demo. And then please launch your VG and just drag and drop the script A on VG. Then it's very simple, just click run. So now um, the script will um, ask for the folder where the demo image allocates. Choose the folder named demo and select. So now the script is and it takes time in waiting for um, the machine learning tools to extract the signals. Um, from my experience, it takes about six minutes to process the data sets. Um, carry 150 slices. So now please go to have a coffee for yourself and come back later. Okay, um, when the work is done, the finish window will pop out and tell you how um, much time, how much time it takes. So now you can press OK to finish the work and close all the windows here. Okay, let's check the result first. Um, under the parent folder, you will see there are three additional folders being generated. Um, the most important one is this, named um, TIFF back DFA. So let's go to row data or row folder to open one of the row image. Here's the row image. And here is the process result. So we open um, the image with the same name, file name. Okay, just 
make it smoother. So on the left hand is the raw data. On the right hand is the processed one. So if we compare channel number, um, the result will have an additional channel, number four, and, and uh, that is the bacterial DNA. So uh, let me use analyze tools, um, synchronize windows, and I can synchronize all of the windows. And now I'm trying to activate um, color panel, color channel tools. And I want to see um, every channel are composed to each other. Okay, then we can use because the windows are synchronized together. So you can use one of the slider, but you can synchronize to view every images together. Okay, so can you see the difference? This white one only label that bacteria. Um, DNA. Okay, so that's the result from the uh, first script A. So let me check and um, close those windows first. Okay, then let's use another script in order to remove the unaffected cells. So please drag and drop the script B here and let's go back here this is the place we want to process okay so now you can just press run to execute the script and um, the script will ask for the folder where um, the bacterial DNA were extracted so please visit the folder, this one, and select. So here the image will pop out and you can use tools. For example, I want to keep this one. Then press Ctrl T in order to save this ROI in the ROI manager. And you can press OK then the next image will pop out. So you just do the same thing. Use the tools here and trying to get the image and use Ctrl T to add this region into the ROI list. And here is the second uh, cell I want to keep. So just draw it and press Ctrl T. Then press OK. Okay, so um, now the image is ready for the further quantification or the, to generate the model. So let's close this one. Okay. So now you can um, move the images here. For example, this one. Okay. After our first process, you will see that there are several cells without infection. But after this process, those cells are removed from the image. So now this image is ready for 3D modeling. Okay. So the next step is trying to save this um, parameter settings for images into the same folder. Then you can just launch um, images and press run batch. And we will see here, it is trying to Um, after waiting for a while, you can just check the results. Okay. 
So after processing, you will see um, here is the original data and um, let me adjust the contrast first. Okay, so you can see the images here. Here is lamp one, here is the um, DAPI and um, the first channel carry the bacterial DNA uh, is also here. You can just just the number to two. Yeah, you probably can see something. Okay, yeah. And um, because we have batch process and to do the three D modeling of these channels, so you can just activate some of them. For example, here is the nucleus from the DAPI. Here is the bacterial DNA from the first channel, and the um, lamp one positive vacuoles carry the bacterial DNAs will be defined as SCV. As for those without bacterial DNA, will be labeled as lysosome. So that's all of the tools can offer um, to you.